When are you guys gonna learn? It's not a dare if I want to do it. gonna be me. I'm gonna pilot the Black Lion. Huh, you wish. <laughs> yeah, I do wish. Unfortunately, it looks like that's all it'll ever be now. Just a wish. Not long after the Voltron Force wrecked shop on that row beast, they defeated Lotar and his jewel army. It was epic! go to the Galaxy Victory Celebration. It was the greatest day of my life. Until... It was a disaster. But no one was hurt. That's why I couldn't believe how quickly everyone forgot all the good Voltron had done. As if they'd been brainwashed. The Defender of the Universe was declared a hazardous threat and decommissioned without even attempting to fix it. How shady is that? My dreams? Gone. Now, the only thing that excites me is going fast. Really fast. So, I enrolled in the Galaxy Alliance Flight Academy, where things have turned out to be slow. Really slow. <sighs> When's life gonna pick up some speed? Of course, if all that wasn't about to change, I wouldn't be here telling you this story. And so the Galaxy Alliance Fractal Fighter has been Earth's primary strike and defense weapon since. Which battle, Cadet Daniel? Huh? Um... The battle at Gemini 4? Correct. Commander Lance. To what do we owe the honor of a visit from the youngest head flight instructor in Academy history? I realized it was nearly the end of the first term, and I've yet to greet our first-year cadets. I wanted to get a look at the faces I'll be seeing when they get into the cockpit in their third year. <sighs> third year. So, do any of you potential pilots have any questions for me? Uh, yes, cadet? Sir, with all due respect, 
Why are you here teaching instead of defending the universe? What really happened with Voltron? Daniel, you know mention of Voltron is forbidden by Sky Marshal Wade. There are severe consequences for violating this order. Uh, Commander Lance, I'm so sorry for... It's all right. I'll speak of this once and only once. Yes, I used to be the pilot of the Red Voltron Lion, but after the incident, that's something I've put in the past. Myself, along with Tech Sergeants Hunk and Pidge, formerly the Yellow and Green Lions, are now loyal soldiers in the service of the Galaxy Alliance military. And Princess Allura, the former Blue Lion, is ruling on her home planet of Eris. What about the leader of Voltron, the Black Lion pilot, Commander Keith? X, Commander Keith, is a wanted fugitive, and nobody knows his whereabouts. So, Commander Keith, I hear you are interested in the location of Wade's secret base. Your hearing is good. Why are you seeking this base? Are you looking for trouble? I'm looking for something Wade has that doesn't belong to him, which may lead to trouble. But that doesn't concern you. I paid you good money for that location, so... Yes, well, unfortunately, some people are willing to pay more for your location. <laughs> Please, do not make a big scene. The size of the scene is up to you. How could you and the rest of the team just turn your backs on Commander Keith and Voltron? Defending the universe is our top priority, and that's exactly what the Galaxy Alliance is doing. Voltron was just a vehicle. Just a vehicle? That's enough. You up. You're coming with me. You too. Me? What did I do? Guilt by association. So, this is how it's gonna be. At least I returned your money. You can count it. It's all there. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> A sword? Really? It's a weapon of honor. You wouldn't understand. The supposed rising jewel threat is nothing but rumors to stir the masses. But Sky Marshal Wade, our sources have intercepted increased chatter about this mysterious Commander Kala, specifically mentioning Lotor. Lotor is dead! Furthermore, Ambassador Koran, if your sources happen to be the den, you'd better think twice before quoting their intelligence to me, considering they're viewed as rebels against the Galaxy Alliance. You continually test my patience, honorable gentlemen from Arras. Tread lightly. Good day. Commander Lance, these must be the cadets you called me about. Yes, sir. Normally, I don't like to concern myself with petty academy matters, but I take my no Voltron policy very seriously. Sir. I take full responsibility. He doesn't belong here. I hardly know him, and he... Do not speak, cadet, and don't play that sickening nobility card either. It's a liability in combat. I need an army of obedient, ruthless fighting machines, not some saps who are going to hesitate to consult their moral compass. Of course, this won't be a problem for you if you violate my policy again, because a second offense would mean expulsion. However... This being your first, you are receiving the automatic sentence. Latrine duty for the rest of the first term. And all of the second term as well. I hope this teaches you to scrub Voltron from your lives completely. I'm sure this experience will give them an entirely different perspective on Voltron, sir. It already has. Man, I am so sorry I got you into this mess. Hey, you just said what I was thinking. I'm more of the non-confrontational type. Yeah, speaking of type, I've been meaning to thank you for helping me in class. How did you do... 
Uh, that. A tech magician never reveals his tricks. <laughs> you're an interesting guy. Uh, I don't even know your... It's Vince. Should I pretend I don't know your name's Daniel to make this less awkward for you? <laughs> Probably. Well, I definitely owe you one, Vince. Yeah, don't worry about it. You can just save my life sometime. Ugh. So, Vince, what do you think of this place so far? You mean besides the life sentence of latrine duty and the fact that one of our heroes turned out to be a total snart? Yeah. And then there's this. I came here to fly jets, and all first years do are stupid simulators. Actually, I like the simulators. All the fun of flying with none of the death. Unlocked. You wanna... Totally. Wait, I thought you didn't like the simulators. I don't. At least not when we're supposed to be in them. But now we're like Commander Keith, rebel outlaws, operating in the shadows. I can't believe Mansit was a traitor. He was thoroughly vetted by the Den. And why'd he return my money? It just doesn't make sense. Says the guy talking to a space mouse. Huh? The coordinates to Wade's base. It's all there. This is Starker calling the Den. The watering hole has been located. I'm going hunting. Set course for the Tarvos moon of Saturn. See? These simulators are way too easy. I'm ready to try to stop pulling 12 Gs. All right, Wine and McGee. You want me to make this interesting for you? Whoa! I thought you were non-confrontational. I am, in real life. Well, would you look here? It seems the simulator wants to feel more hurt. Easy pickings. What? Can't you boys keep up? Commander Lance? You just want to get expelled, don't you? Considering this is most likely your last act as GA cadets, let's see what you're made of. Hope your straps are on tight. Why? It's not like these simulators are gonna rock it up! You might want to pull your emergency brake right now. Simulator almost killed me! Huh. And Voltron contraband to boot. Wade would throw you in a secret holding cell to rot. Lucky for you, I'm not Wade. Boys, welcome to... The Den. Cadets, I'd like you to meet... You're Pidge! The Green Lion pilot! That's Hunk, the Yellow Lion! Well, what are you doing? You're not even welding anything. Yeah, but I wanted to make a cool entrance for these little dudes. Mission accomplished. Is Keith here too? Always with the Keith. draw glasses on top of my glasses. Um, six eyes? I don't know. I'm not an artist. Well, I'd better get back to duty. But I look forward to working with you clowns in the future. Huh? We need to keep up appearances. We've been pretending to be the epitome of a good soldier and loyal to Sky Marshal Wade so that he never suspects our underground activities. Pidge and Hunk have built this secret network that has access to Wade's GA resources. It's been quite useful in helping Keith on his secret mission. What kind of secret mission? The kind that's a secret. Uh, okay, fine. But you still haven't explained why we're here. What does any of this have to do with us? Let's just say your talents have been noticed and we'd like to cultivate them. In fact, how would you like to take a very cultivating course right now, taught by yours truly? Totally! What's the course? Toilet Scrubbing 101. Ah, oh, you're right. You already have a bit of experience. We'll call it 102.
clear. Okay, we can tell there's something cool going on here. But if it involves cleaning more toilets, look, I'm gonna be asking you to do a lot of things in the future that won't seem to make sense, but there will always be a reason. The question is, after what you've seen, do you trust me? I think so. But why won't you just give us a straight answer about anything? Partially because you aren't ready to know, but mostly because it's way more fun for me this way. So I'll ask again, do you trust me? Because if you don't, I can have Pidge erase us from your memory. Okay, we're in. Whew, that is a huge relief, because we do not have a memory erasing device. That's science fiction. What are you making, White? Hey, you. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Probably another false alarm set up by space mice or something. Yeah. But we gotta run through the motions anyway. Decrypt security code. Come on, come on. Shh, shoo. In session. How much do you know about Sky Marshal Wade? He's the head of the Galaxy Alliance's military division. And a snart who hates Voltron. True, but it's more complicated than that. Wade's been wanting control of the Alliance military for years, always claiming that Voltron was dangerous because the power within the lines is an ancient technology that isn't fully understood. Though we can't prove it, we know he sabotaged Voltron to turn the public against it. I knew it! Wade used this as an excuse to convince the Galaxy Alliance that Voltron's power isn't to be trusted. He got them to regulate the Lions back to their storage chambers on Eris. However, I believe that Wade actually just wanted to study their technology. Well, I believe it's time to start your first class project. Wade is a well-decorated general, but he's particularly proud of his four-stripe pin. Pidge has made a replica of this pin, and you boys are gonna swap this out. Your master revenge plan is to switch out his favorite pin for a fake? Yes. Remember our earlier conversation about trust? Remember you don't have a mind erasing device? Touche. Let's continue anyway, shall we? Latrine duty happens to be the only hole in Wade's security. The toilet cleaning cadets have pretty much unfettered access. And like all disciplined army men, Wade does everything on an airtight schedule. And I mean everything. Now, we already know you have a talent for sneaking around, so when Wade's code is off for his 0600, that's your chance to make the swap. Should be a piece of cake. Nice, sweet. I think this time he's finished, like us. I didn't think at all. Guess you're lucky I'm impulsive. Yeah, well, consider the saving my life debt paid. I was hoping to hold that over your head, but... Look at this mess, you insufferable beast. I swear, if you chase one more mouse... Found you. Ah, there it is. Nice job, boys. Piece of cake, right? More like piece of meat. Well, you did such a good job that I've decided to expel you from the Academy after all. Unless you'd rather stay and finish out your two terms of latrine, you are showing great promise in that field of study. 
Go on and pack your bags, boys. We're taking a road trip. This is all happening so fast. I often find fast is the best way. So I think you boys have earned the right to know a bit more about Wade's pin. More like pins. And more like keys than pins. The keys to the lions! Welcome to Eris, and welcome to the Castle of Lions. Whoa. Where's the black key? I assure you, it's in good wrists. 